It's a Alcohol PD, apparently, just now. Uh, apparently conducted a very legal, supposedly. There's the sign, by the way. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hey, sir. I, I recorded our entire discussion. Good. So if you're going to file a complaint, they have it all on recording. So you Good. can continue to record if you'd like. But Good. That is all. So please, we're going to be back around in a few minutes. I just need you to leave, okay? You don't need that, but thank you for requesting it. Very demandingly. Well, how will I be able to access the recording that you have? How will I be able to access the recording that you have? Officer! 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 I request to see the recording. How will I be able to access that? He says it's because I don't live around here, but this is a public street. It's, uh, publicly maintained. And as a citizen, I have a right to be here. I parked next to the sign right there that says, if, uh, that's how far the sign is. Um, I don't know if that's visible from there, but uh, that's a reasonable distance. I thought I could park next to it and be all right. Um, apparently not. And he says I had a knife in my pocket. Um, I don't know how he looked in my pocket to, first off, mistake a pen for a knife. They say the pen is mightier than the sword, but I didn't think he meant that. Anyway. Let's uh, try something real quick here. He wasn't, he was preventing me. He kept threatening getting aggravated when I, uh, when I was looking for the camera in the first place. So I missed all that. I didn't get a recording of that. But he says they recorded it and that I, I guess I could access it. All complying.
I'll just back up the distance that it takes to be in front of the no parking zone. Hi, Sarah, I had a little bit of an incident today with uh, alcohol and PD, and I believe what is occurring here is someone is actually harassing me and making difficulties in my life. Um, if you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen I believe they may, be, may be a neighbor. I believe they may be a neighbor. And... Well, I guess it's not recording. The reason I believe it may be a neighbor is because they said I had a knife in my pocket. I don't understand if he says that he's not a mind reader, how he could see my pockets or look into my pockets. He says the deputy looked into my pockets. Uh, here's a, here's a look. Uh, no and no. So how does he see a knife? I don't know. Maybe somebody thought I had a knife when I was walking around earlier? Maybe somebody made a call? Maybe somebody had them look for me? Hmm. Anyway, this, what I'm driving through right now, is considered no park zone. It was very hostile. Kind of aggravated and sweaty. I had to get aggressive back. Okay. Can I ask you some questions? Can I ask you some questions for the record? Can you, you like first off, can you stop shining the light in my face, please? Well, I need to be able to see inside your cabin. Here. I'm not going to turn it off. Here. I will shine it down. Okay. Okay. Here. Here's the dome light. Okay. Okay. Um, and you you mentioned that there was a recording? I was, yes, I record every, anytime we make a traffic stop, okay. there's a recording. How could I access that? You cannot access it. I can't access it. Is it is for evidentiary purposes if needed. It's not for the public. How can I access that? Do I have to subpoena? You'd have to, you, I don't know what the laws are, the department You should know. know. I don't know what the laws are as it pertains to accessing. That's AOJ video. stuff. Sir, can I finish my sentence? Go ahead. When it comes to accessing the video in the patrol vehicles, I do not know if you can get access to that. You would have to go to the police department and ask. That's not my specialty, so I have no idea. Okay, if you want me to know everything, then it's just not possible. I can't know. I want you to know that. everything involving your job and your. There's no actions. way that I can know everything involving my job, sir. Do you know how many laws are in the penal code, the vehicle code, the all the other codes that we have to know? We can't know everything. So I do my best, and if I don't know, I ask somebody that may know. Okay. In everything case, that you do, at least, you should know I'm what sorry? you do. Everything that you do, at least, you should know, right? You, sir, you can never know everything. Did you have other questions for me? Well, we're getting philosophical now. I, but I know, and there's no need for it. So I do have work to do. I would prefer not to... As much as a philosophical conversation can be fun sometimes, it's not what I'm here for. So you said you had questions for me. What other questions do you have for me? Uh, well, that was the main question, how okay. I could access that. You can go so, to the police department Monday through Friday. Okay. And go into the lobby and ask the desk officer how he, you would go about getting access to that. I okay. do not know. Uh, next next question. Um, you mentioned that part of the reason that, uh, that I should leave was because I don't live in the area, but this is a public road? I mentioned that I get a lot of complaints from this neighborhood about suspicious vehicles. We have burglaries up here and have had... I've heard that before. Okay, recently but, in the but, past. but okay. is Therefore, that just cause? When I see a vehicle parked on the dark is road... Is that just cause? 
can, can I, you asked me a question. Do you want me to answer it or not? Go ahead. Okay. When I see a vehicle parked on a, on a dark road that is never parked there, okay, to me, it's a suspicious vehicle. All you right? guys do rounds nothing about through it. here? Is this, is this your beat? This is my sector, yes. Okay, you guys call it sector. Okay. Um, okay, so that is why I contacted you, okay? Next question. So the just cause was you suspected burglary? No. I didn't say that. I said we've had recent burglaries and that you're a vehicle I don't recognize and that you're parked in an area that I get complaints at and that you're not normally parked. This vehicle is not normally parked there. Okay? Okay. So, so if you see me if you see me in the area if you see me in the area contact somebody in the vehicle. If you see me in the area next time do I have to have one of the neighbors come down and like vouch for me or something? No. But the thing is, sir, it's suspicious if somebody doesn't live in this area and they're hanging out at one in the morning. But do you not agree? Can I have somebody like let you know that I'm cool there? Like I don't I don't know what you're asking. Can I have the person who lives there like tell you it's there's cool? There's not a house like right there. There's a, a there's backyard some... above you yeah. where you were parked. And you know that person? Well, that's not your business, but if I were well, to be not, there but I you can't go door to door and ask people to vouch for you if you're going to park in this. But if they vouch for me, will you be okay with that? Sir, all I'm doing, all I was doing was making sure... Okay, well, you gave me a citation. I came out of a situation no where, where I was, like, within... How much did you say? Like, 12 feet? 12 and a half feet. 12 and a half feet. You were parked in a no-parking zone, sir. That's why you got a citation. Okay. Not because your vehicle is suspicious. That okay. was my reason for contacting you. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? Uh, actually, your partner here. Hi. My partner is not part of this. Company. How did How did you think that I had a knife in my pocket? You know that your window's up, right? How did you think that I had a knife in my pocket? Because I could see a shiny object coming out the back of your pocket, look at the handle of a knife, or in your back pocket, in your back right pocket. In my back pocket? Doesn't mean you didn't remove it. He's not saying. You can't you see in my back you right pocket. When you were leaning to forward and you didn't have your seatbelt on, I could see your back pocket. Okay, if you say so. Okay. okay. Well, We're not saying that you 100% had a knife, all right? Okay. But we have to be cognizant of right, right. all those things, okay. okay? Because people do try to hurt us, whether you want to believe so or not, all right? Kind of stupid. So, stupid that people try to hurt us? Yeah. It's not very nice, I'd agree. But my, my goal at the end of the day is to go home to my family, okay? And it, so is his, all right? So if I believe or think that there's possibilities of someone possessing a knife or a weapon of any kind, then I'm going to be extra careful. And that's why I ask you not to reach into your pockets. If I were to reach in my pockets for some sort of weapon, it would be in self-defense. Okay. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I, but that's the reason I didn't roll my windows down. The reason why I asked you not to reach in your pocket, which you did so anyways, mm -hmm. was because I don't know what you have in your vehicle. Okay. okay. And I don't know what weapons you have. Okay. All right. So, all the time, people do have weapons, and they reach into their pocket, and uh -huh. officers get hurt. Okay, okay, but but the the basically the second question that we branched out from here, the main point is, uh, if you see me there in the area next time, whenever that may be, if it, there is a next time, are we going to be okay, or am I going to get another citation for not if being? You're parked in, in the no parking zone. But will it be something citation. else, or? If you're not in the no parking zone, like I said, you're okay do I have to I have somebody calls from neighbors complaining about a vehicle that doesn't belong there. Right, but like I said, at one in the morning, I can I can figure out what neighbor it was. One, but there's, there's thousands of people up here, sir. Right, but if it's if it's at that area the morning, right there, it's not you, that hard. There's just no reason to be sitting on the side of a dark road at one in the morning when you live on the other side of the city. Okay. There is. It's a public road. People go out for fresh air. It's a right. hot day today. Do you, do you want strange people coming and sitting outside of your home? They do anyway. All, all it does is upsets the community and neighbors. That's all it does. They so, do anyway. Nobody do calls you, the police. And do you call and complain about it? If no, it bothers you? relax. Okay. And, and that may be the case, but it bothers people up here. That's why they're always calling. Well, okay. you should probably tell them to get a stick out of their ass. You it's guys not have better things to do. A stick in their ass. People don't like strange people in their neighborhood. Well, it's a public I don't want road. Strange people in my neighborhood. Maybe they should live out in the country. Especially at one in the morning. Okay. Okay. Well, if you've ever had someone I know, come into I know your house that... at one in the morning to try to steal stuff, that's exactly why it happens. Up I know that. Okay. Nobody called necessarily. You don't from that area. Okay. At least, 
Okay. And if anybody called, it might have been okay. down in that area. Okay. And I believe there is a conflict you, of interest you can, involving. You can think whatever you'd like, sir. No, I know. All right. That if he said that he saw a knife... Really? What did I say? You said that you saw a knife. I... Okay. Do you have any other questions for us? Implying I would have had to sir, be Mr. not Martinez, sitting. Do you have um, any other questions for us? No, those two were the main ones. And uh, if we see one another before or, you know, next time, I hope we don't this, have any hard feelings. This isn't about if I know somebody, but I'm not going to... You need to stop getting so hostile when a citizen has questions, even if they're annoying to you. I'm not being that hostile. That is a fact. That okay. is a fact. I'm not being hostile. All right? When someone rolls up their windows, locks their doors, and is digging around their car, when I'm walking up to talk yeah. to them, when they know that I'm walking up to talk to them, right? What do you think that, that is means? even more suspicious to me, because I do not know what you're doing. Okay, what do you, what, how do you interpret that? I interpret it as somebody could be grabbing a firearm to shoot and kill Here, me. Here's what you should okay. do then, in that case. You should switch jobs, because that's paranoia. Sir? That's paranoia. I'm you should probably consider in... that most citizens if are I not armed. Paranoid most citizens job, are not armed, and probably sir? would be anxious or nervous about being approached by somebody who is. Sir, if I was not paranoid in my job, somebody would have already killed me. I can promise you that. Maybe that's the other way around. No, I haven't killed anybody. I'm telling you right now. That's that not what I meant. people are out there to kill officers. That's okay? not what I meant. And me... Settle me down, settle down. I meant, safe, I meant that you, me being your paranoia safe, could probably get you killed. Me thinking about that is being safe, okay? So thinking about killing people? If you're people? done lecturing me, no, thinking about somebody digging around their vehicle to grab a gun. No, no, okay? no. I, I, if you're done lecturing me, me about how to do my job and what I should and should not be thinking, I'm going to leave, okay? The majority Are of we us... Are done with all the questions? The majority of us would take it the wrong way if you were to be so aggressive okay. or so anxious any other about answering me? questions. Do you have any other questions for me? Um... No, I okay. mean, have a, good night. have a good night. Good night. Well, that was eventful. They're still driving behind me, by the way. They're a little further behind, but... That was interesting. I meant paranoia. I meant, like... I didn't mean he was going to kill anybody. Shit. 